Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are putting to the test a new-ish foundation. It is a clean brand at Sephora. I am talking about the Kosas Foundation. This is the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation, SPF of 25. I purchased this when this foundation launched, which I feel was maybe a month, two months ago or so. I've been meaning to get around to filming this video much sooner, but at last, here we are. So we're gonna be testing this foundation on my skin. I'm 39 years old. I have pretty dry skin these days. I don't know what's happening. I was gonna blame it on the cold weather, but it's no longer cold and my skin is still really dry. So is this what happens? I hear this is what happens as we get older and I feel like this is what is starting to happen. My skin is very much drying out. Um, so just to give you some background of my skin and the kind of skin concerns that I have. So we're going to be testing this. I also have the Kosas Concealer, which I have had for a little while. We're going to be using this with it, and we're going to be using the Kosas Cloud Set Powder, which I absolutely love this powder. Spoiler alert. So we're going to be doing a full clean foundation routine, and I will do a check-in or two throughout the day so you guys can see how this foundation performs. Okay, so before we get started, let's get into the 411 about this foundation, a couple of benefits and key selling points from Sephora's website. It comes in 36 shades. It has an SPF of 20 25. It is described as having a uh, medium coverage and a matte finish. So I like that. I like medium coverage. I typically like a matte finish. These days my skin's dry, so more like satin foundations are giving me that matte finish. Some key ingredients are niacinamide, caffeine, uh, arnica, provitamin B, hyaluronic acid, which is very great to kind of retain moisture, and it retails for $42. All right, you guys, so I am just going to go in. I have the shade, I think I got a wrong, the wrong shade. I got the shade light, medium, neutral, warm 190. It is light, medium with yellow undertones. It does look a little light on me, but we shall see. This is what one pump of the foundation looks like. This is the consistency of it. You can see that it's, you know, not super thick, but it's not watery either. It is starting to slowly make its way down my hand. It looks very beautiful. I'm going to apply it with the BK Beauty 101 brush. This is our travel size, so it looks a little bit shorter than our traditional. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit. I like to use the tip of this brush to pick up the product. And I'm going to go in the center of my face and just kind of start by bouncing it onto the skin. I like to do this because this is the way that I get the most coverage from my product without having to use too much of it. Ooh, great coverage. I'm just pressing it on. I mean, this brush is doing all the work. I'm literally just pressing. I haven't even started to sweep. Now I am just to shear it out and blend out the edges. Now, as far as skin, skin concerns for me, I tend to, you know, my biggest skin concern that I'm aware of are the size of my pores in the cheek area. They are large. Also on my forehead, they tend to be you know, pretty noticeable. So when I look for foundations or any complexion products, I want to make sure the products I'm using are not making those more noticeable. And it's a bonus if they can actually blur and smooth them out. So actually the color looks pretty good for me. I was worried it was gonna be a little too light, but it's actually kind of perfect. Gosh, my skin is so dry these days. I feel like the foundation is just like absorbing into my skin so fast and drying so fast. If you have really dry skin, I recommend doing your application similar to how I'm doing it, which is going to the brush and go straight to the face, rather than going and applying it all over the face and then working your way to blend it, because what happens is by the time you get to the last part that you blend out, that foundation is likely dried or set or started to absorb into the skin, and you're going to have a harder time blending it out. So if you have dry skin... Take it from me, you wanna just kind of apply as you are ready to blend out immediately. My skin for the most part has always been pretty normal. I live in Texas, so it's very hot. So during the you know summer or warmer months, I tend to feel a little bit oilier, um, but I don't know. I really feel like my skin is changing. Like I said, I'm gonna be 40. I'm 39 now, I'm gonna be 40 soon. And um, I mean, is this kind of, I mean, I've heard this is kind of what happens. Is this what happens? How does your skin change as you've gotten older? I would love to know your experience. If you can share that down below. All right, so I've got the foundation blended in pretty well. Um, wow, okay, it did quite settle around my nose. Like already this looks really bad. I need to go in and try and kind of wipe this off with my finger. Huh, yeah, that is not good. That's like immediate. Okay, it's settling in every single pore. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can zoom in and see, but it is not looking good. Let me go in with the concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Kosas uh, concealer. I have the shade 
zero four. This does look quite a bit light. I did prep my under eyes by applying a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Cryo Eye Serum Cream. I like to do that to give a little hydration under my eyes before I apply concealer. I'm gonna go and pop that right in the inner corners. I am gonna take a BK Beauty Beauty Sponge to blend this out, and I'm gonna work quickly so it doesn't have time to dry. What I'll do is I'll go do about half of it on one eye and I'll start the other half on the other eye and then I'll go back. Ooh, my eyes are so sensitive to these lights today. Okay, I do like this concealer today. The concealer is giving me good coverage. It looks creamy and hydrating under the eye. Okay, all right, perfect. Let me go and see how I'm gonna clean up around the nose. Around the nose looks really, really terrible. I almost wanna grab my phone and get a very close up of this so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so before I go in and set with powder, I do wanna make a couple of notes that this side of my face actually looks really pretty. This side is where I'm having a lot of patchiness. I'm also having a lot of the product settle into pores. I feel like I'm a little bit drier in this area, so that is probably why that is happening, but I wanted to make that um, notation because Right now I'm not liking this foundation, like right off the bat before we even go throughout the day and wear it, I'm not liking the way this looks on my skin. But I do wanna say that, you know, I think that it is because my skin is so dry, dry right now, because there are parts of it that look better than others, but it's not a good foundation day and we just got started. I'm almost hesitant to even set it with powder, um, but I do want to set it with a little bit of the cloud set Maybe this will actually kind of smooth things out a little bit. I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. I'm using the BK Beauty 104. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this. And I'm just gonna kind of set the center of the face. I'm gonna press. Okay, that actually improved it quite a bit. That definitely made the pores look more smooth and blurred out and it really did improve the appearance of the foundation. Okay, yeah, that was definitely helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna go and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of my makeup on. When I look at the foundation, it looks really good. Honestly, that powder kind of saved the day. I was not loving the look of the foundation on my skin before I used the powder, but the powder really did smooth everything out. It also kind of minimized how much of the product was starting to um, kind of separate and gather, gather and separate and settle into pores. It minimized that and you can still see it on this area, particularly right around my nose. It does not look good. Um, so um, I can say right off the bat before we even go through the day and test this foundation that this foundation is not really great when your skin is very dry. My skin is very dry today. It just doesn't look good there. Everywhere else it looks okay though. Everywhere else it looks okay. But I did wanna call out that one area. But as promised, I'm gonna go throughout the day. We're gonna do at least one to two check-ins today and we will see how this performs through the rest of the day. If it stays like this or if it continues to get worse, Worse, that'll be a true test because if it stays like this, then I can at least say that this foundation has great wearability, it has decent coverage, and that it would likely be great for someone that has kind of more normal to oily skin. Um, but if it continues to like go downhill quick and fast, then perhaps we kind of reevaluate what we think about it at that time. But I'm trying to be very objective here if you haven't noticed. I'm trying to be very, very objective with this review because the, the last thing I want to do is turn off, turn someone off off of a foundation that would perhaps be great for them because their skin is different than mine. But for me, I can definitely say that until my skin is not so dry, I probably won't be applying this again. But let's go ahead and get started with our day and we'll check in in a few hours. Hey guys, so we've had the foundation on for about five hours now and I just peeked in the mirror. Hopefully you guys can see here, I'm gonna get in a little bit closer, but um, it's not looking great. There is no shine. It doesn't look like it's gotten shiny or oily throughout the day at all, which that is a plus, um, but it feels dry. It has this like dry, tight feeling to the skin. When you look really closely, you can just see that it doesn't look very flattering on the skin in certain areas, especially areas where there are creases or contours of the skin. So like my little folds here, right around my nose, I do see it settling in my pores there. Um, but it just seems to be like magnifying the dryness of my skin right now. Um, it is a bonus though to me that it doesn't still looks matte and still looks fresh in a sense. Um, I think that had I tried this foundation maybe a year ago when my skin was in a different place, I wouldn't quite have this same, um, the same results. So that's just kind of a thought. I'm going to do a check in another few hours and let you guys know my final thoughts. 
Hey friends, we're back. It's been another five hours. So the foundation's been on for about 10 hours now. And I have a kind of mixed review of this foundation. As you already know at this point in the video, I don't really like the way that it looks on my skin right now, but I really, really have to commend how this foundation wore throughout the day. It didn't really get shiny or greasy or oily looking at all. Um, it didn't really progressively get worse. <laughs> kind of started off the bat, not so great on my skin, and it slowly started to go downhill from there, but it not at the rate that I expected it to. So I really feel like this is just a case of my skin being so dry right now and flaky, and this foundation not being a great match for someone with dry, flaky skin. So I don't wanna tell you that this foundation is bad. I really don't wanna tell you that because I think under different circumstances, different skin types, I think that this might have a lot of potential. So I hope that's helpful. I know that that is kind of a, a little like, ooh, you know, like this, but that is my experience with this foundation. If you've tried this, please let us know your thoughts on this foundation. If you love it, let us know what you love about it and what type of skin you have. If you didn't quite love it, let us know that too and let us know what skin you type this type of skin you have, I'm really curious to see, um, you know, other people's feedback on this foundation. I'm going to hold on to it because like I said, I think it definitely has some potential. I think I just need to kind of get a little bit better situation of my skin and, um, and then we'll give this another go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Bye guys.